In a more perfect world, it would be Keith Cross popping the jump shots for his beloved Maquoketa Cardinals. The 17-year-old loves basketball almost more than anything else. But Keith has had medical problems similar to those of TV star Gary Coleman. He was born with cystinosis and the disease stunted his growth. His playing days ended in ninth grade. You know, he goes out there and plays and somebody turns and runs over him and where normally somebody else would hit you head to head, they're going to hit Keith. You know, their knees are going to hit him right in the head. And so I did try to talk him into becoming a manager. I have thought a couple times like I've really wanted to go out and play with the big guys. It kind of upsets me, but I don't, you know, get shaken over it. The only thing that shakes Keith these days is when a call goes against his team. Cystinosis is a neurological disease that can damage the major body organs. Keith lost his spleen, then his kidneys failed. But four years ago, the Makokota manager received a kidney transplant. And except for a few bouts with high blood pressure, Keith's back on track, and he's grown about seven inches. He says he doesn't mind all the attention his medical problems attract, as long as it helps folks understand them. Kids will come up to me and ask me, am I really as old as I am? I tell them, yeah, and I usually have to show them my license to prove it. Some pick on me, but, you know, I've gone through that for most of my school years. Keith is a very special little guy. Um, he may only be 3'11", or, you know, Keith probably told you he's four foot now, <laughs> but uh, he stands a lot taller than that among all of our guys. It appears there will always be room for the little man in basketball, especially if he has a big heart. Alan Savelle, Activate News.